Hi, this is Bahar Shapar for We Dharma, and today I think I just wanted to talk a little bit about making space. Um, I think most of us have learned somewhere along the road that, that, that in this life nothing is certain, that everything changes, nothing is permanent, uh, and that you never know what's around the next corner. Um, and in order to, to, to truly find peace, you know, and, and happiness and fulfillment in this life, we have to embrace this inevitability and to incorporate this process of continual evolution into our own lives. Um, but, you know, this is not easy. We are creatures of habit and constant change is in fact uncomfortable. Um, we are our beings with an infinite capacity for, for joy and for love, but our physical selves are far from infinite in their capacity. And, um, you know, and I think one of the things that, that too often we forget is that, you know, you can't expect yourself to have like the energy and the enthusiasm and just the the desire to 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 tackle you know what's in front of you every new day um if you don't allow yourself some breathing room you don't allow yourself some 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 energy some space to be able to process and and solve the riddles life throws at you and you know space is the the clarity that allows you to see through the fog space is the energy that gets you out of bed in the morning and and throws you into into whatever task or experience you have before you space is um calmness and stillness in the midst of of chaos you know in this life this is a fast-paced life and we have minds that that pulse intensely and and you know in our quest to to get as much out of it we have chosen to fill our lives with so many you know tasks and thoughts and worries and dreams and goals and memories and and you know that we're up to here i mean here in fact and we've left ourselves no breathing room and you know i mean look at your computer like if you put too many things on it, which I oftentimes do, um, what happens? It has no hard drive, it has no memory, it starts taking 8,000 hours to accomplish even the simplest task. It, it spins its wheels and it eventually goes bonkers. You know, our, our hearts and our minds are no different. And, you know, we need to make room in our, in our physical lives. I mean, and that can be through decluttering your your home uh, or decluttering your schedule you know and and making room for the time the people and the and the things that that truly give you meaning and joy and really matter um, and and you know really like committing to carving out physical space you know for yourself and for these things that matter to you but it's also mental and emotional and and more often than not, a lot of our, our mental and emotional space is taken up by memories of the past and, and hauntings and longings and dreams of the future. And we've attached our, our identity, our self-worth, you know, to, 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 these, to these memories and to these dreams. And so they're hard to let go, you know, but the, the present is a really full place. We forget that sometimes um, you, you can experience everything uh, that's on life's buffet and and totally engorge yourself on on all the experience of every one of the senses in this present moment you know you don't need to hold on to those happy days from your past in order to be happy and you don't need to dream of a happier future in order to be happy now you know, all of that is right here in front of you. Um, and, and, you know, in as much as those dreams and those, those memories, especially when they're positive ones, can, can really serve to comfort us and tend to, 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 you know, just be a nice, warm, fuzzy feeling if they, if they just pass through on 
nice soft breeze and kind of go out the window just as quickly as they came, you know, they, they can be really positive. But usually what they end up doing is, is sitting and collecting dust up in our heads. And all that does is take up space. And we all know that, you know, you can't bring in anything new until you, you get rid of the old. And, you know, you can't become the thing you're wanting to become until you let go of the things that you have been. And, you know, you, you, you can't push yourself into that process of change and evolution when you're working from a really tight space. I mean, you, you crowded yourself on this bookshelf of, of experience, you know, and all the stories that have come before you and all the stories that are going to come after. And you're just this one chapter and you give the present like this much space. It's never going to work that way. And, and to really, you know, get to where you want to get to, I mean, you have to, to create that freedom and that expanse. You, in order to, to run free, you need a wide open meadow. So that's all I have to say on that. So thanks for sharing today.